What's up guys? Welcome to this new tutorial. This is Luis from Touch and Edit and we will do the LumaFusion pop tags and motion tracking tutorial all together because they are linked. But before we are starting, don't forget to do this and this. <laughs> okay, no, just kidding. This was just an example of what we are doing today. But please don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to don't miss any video in future before we are jumping right into LumaFusion now. We are in LumaFusion now and what you need to start is of course a base clip. And this base clip has to fulfill some requirements. These are that you have a, let's call it popping action. For example, the movement in my hand and the clap where I'm ending the pop tag. So you need a a start movement or action and a ending action. You could use just snap your fingers or open your hand like this and close it. Everything is possible. You don't even have to do it yourself. You maybe have a object in your environment doing it. Doesn't matter. There must just be an opening action and a ending action. That's all. And now let's start with the tutorial. So the first step is to create the pop tag itself. Therefore, we are adding a overlay title and changing it to the length of the action clip like this. Then double tap it to edit, go to titles and edit the text box here. Let's say we want a like adding a smiley or emoji doesn't matter. And that's it. So this is our text itself. Then we want to add a nice box around it. Therefore, we are adding a shape by tapping on the plus and shape. The base shape is always a rectangle in white. We want a red one. So we are changing the face color to red. And we want a rounded rectangle as a shapes. Now we are changing the size to match it with the text itself. Now the shape is above a layer above the text to uh, change the layer order. We have to tap on the three bars on the right side and just drag it above the text layer. This looks already pretty good. It's adjusted a little bit. like this and let's add another shape this time a triangle also change the color if you have chosen a very special color you could also do it like this so tap on this pipette and select the color you want to have It's very difficult to edit such small objects. Therefore, I would recommend just changing it to the uh, size you want to have. And now it's pretty hard to drag it around. Therefore, I will choose the sliders over there. These are always available, so just simply use them. And that's our pop tag. The second step is to add the motion tracking. Therefore, go to frame and fit and change the size of the pop tag to the size you want to have. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit bigger during your editing in titles, make it uh, also makes it a little bit easier. But now we want it to have the perfect size for the video. So maybe like this and drag it to a place where you want to pin it to during the whole video. So in this example video, it will be my paw. And then add a keyframe by tapping on the plus on the bottom left corner. And what we have to do now is just 
simply moving on a few frames and keep following my paw. And that, that's what I do all the time. I'm not doing it frame by frame because I want to avoid that it looks a little bit shaky. I want the fluent motion and accept that it's not always directly in the middle of my paw. I'm just skipping it right now and all I do is adding the, the motion track keyframes. Now, once you have done with the main motion tracking, there are two points that are very important. And this is the beginning motion and the ending motion. Let's start with the beginning motion. Um, let's find the point where the hand is almost still the first time. So maybe, you know, like here, add a keyframe. And now go forward frame by frame and keep following the point where you've pinned your pop tag. It's not very important that it has to be exact, but you have to keep the speed of your hand. And that's it like this. Let's do the same at the end. Find the point where the ending motion starts. So like here, add a keyframe and then keep following the pin point. And that's it. Now to the last step, and the last step is to add some effects to, to keep the motion blur. Or to add motion blur to make it look more nice to the eye. Therefore, we add motion blur at the beginning and at the end. To add motion blur, tap on the drop, water drop over here, and add swish 3. Add a keyframe at the beginning and set the angle to 90 degrees or about 90 degrees because the first motion in this clip is that I move my hand upwards. And now go to the point where I'm stopping moving my hand very fast, adding a keyframe and now reduce the radius to zero. So we have a beginning animation and an ending animation. Let's do the end find a point where I'm starting to move my hand very fast. Also add a keyframe and at the last keyframe set the radius to 100 and the angle to zero because now we are moving horizontal. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Let's watch the whole animation. Das hier und das hier. Denn beides uh, gehört irgendwie zusammen und zu dem Channel. Has disappeared and that's it pretty cool pretty simple always a nice effect <laughs>